Hello traders, welcome to the advanced MT4 course and the third module tips and tricks. In this video I'm going to show you the most important MT4 hotkeys and I'm also going to show you a few tricks that you can use to make your trading life a little bit easier. So uh, let's open the MT4 and uh, let's get on with it. The first thing we're going to do is uh, focus on one single chart. And uh, the first uh, little trick that I want to show you is the crosshair tool. The crosshair tool can be uh, found right here by clicking on this cross. And uh, uh, what this tool does is it will help you measure in pips the length of a move. For instance, if you want to know how many pips this move has from high to low, we uh, click on the high of the move and then we drag the mouse to the low of the move and as you can see here uh, what the what the uh, crosshair tool is telling us is that we have 58 candles and uh, 1133 pips are until the low price of 1.6041.9 and uh, that's how you use it and uh, the other another way to uh, to prompt it is to just click your mouse wheel and measure away. Um, the other thing that I want to, to uh, teach you is uh, something that I've been asked a lot. Let's say that we want to measure uh, the fibs from high to low. First of all, I'm going to modify the fib level so we can see them. Okay, and uh, uh, the question that I, I, I've been asked a lot in the past is how to add price levels to your FIB retracements. So to add the uh, price level to the Fibonacci level, you double click on uh, the trend line of your FIB levels and you go to FIBO properties. And then you go to FIBO levels and uh, you go to description. And uh, what you do here is that you add a percent sign and a dollar sign and then a space, a hyphen and a space to the Fibonacci level. And be aware that you need to do this for every single level. But here we are only going to do it for the first three. So you understand how it's done, okay? And then you click accept. And as you can see here by uh, adding a percent sign and a dollar sign with a hyphen to separate the level, you get the price level on your Fibonacci retracement level, okay? Now uh, let's go to another little trick uh, that you might be able to use is uh, well I mean uh, to move price on on the, on your chart you just move your wheel you move your wheel down to move price left and up to move price right it also uh, works with if you use the up and down arrow but as you can see when you press the up arrow on your keyboard it moves price frame by frame so you can better control uh, the price uh, movements or where you want to go. And if you want to move, if you want to move back to where you were, you only press the down arrow. And uh, sometimes when you are backtesting a strategy, you need to go um, candlestick by candlestick. And to do so, you only press F12. Okay. By pressing F12, you can see that you actually move one candlestick at the time. And this is very good when you are forward testing or where you, when you are actually testing a strategy. Uh, when you forward test a, a strategy, you go back in price action, okay? And, uh, and uh, you put the indicators that you, uh, or that you want uh, or the indicators that make part of the strategy and then you go candle by candle to see where the signal appears and if that signal would have yield any profits or not and to do that you press f12 to go candlestick by candlestick if you want to go back you press shift f12 and it will move back price one candlestick at the time okay now uh to compress and expand um the chart you go to uh, 
the vertical scale of your chart you press and hold the left bottom of your mouse and you can move up and down uh, this is actually very good uh, to locate uh, to locate um, targets that are out of the range of the actual or, or the current price action and uh, to zoom in and zoom out you can either use the plus sign and the minus sign or you can do it with the horizontal scale by uh, clicking on it holding it and moving it left and right another cool trick of the mt4 platform is the way you can duplicate objects and uh, let's assume that uh, we want to duplicate a um, trend line so that we can create a price channel what you do is you double click on the trend line then you click control and click and then just move your mouse and you will have a parallel line or an exact duplicate of the uh, trend line that you just drew and uh, of course th you can duplicate any kind of uh, object on the mt4 just by control clicking on it and uh, moving it okay now let's move forward with uh, something a little bit more advanced and uh, this is called compounding sometimes uh, you want to use for example um, let's say a uh, moving average inside your RSI to create buy and sell signals for instance or you can uh, also add uh, Bollinger Bands to your to an ATR so uh, you can see if the uh, volatility is unsustainable or not uh, to do this you go and uh, you open a um, the indicator that you want to compound on let's say that we want to uh, add a uh, moving average to the RSI 14 here the first thing you need to do is open the RSI and then you want to open the navigator window and locate the moving average right here or whatever indicator you want to compound and uh, then you just click and drag it to the RSI and uh, on the tab apply to you choose first indicators data and as you can see here uh, by doing so the moving average is added to the RSI and not price action let's say that you did not do that now I'm going to show you uh, why it is important to apply it to the first indicators data because if you drag it to the RSI but you forget to do this the indicator will be added to price and not the RSI and these are little tricks that will make your trading life much easier um, by completely knowing how to handle the MT4 capabilities.